Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are continuing on the transformation set of IXLs going with L4 which has to do with writing the rule for translations. Okay, so this stuff is very important. Uh, not so much on IXL but for your homework and tests and stuff you're going to see a lot of translation rule uh, type content. So translation rule is just outlining everything we've done uh, in L2 and L3 with translations but making a formal statement about it. So it's really nothing new new here, excuse me, uh, but we're just trying to make it more formal. So right here, and the problems again are gonna be very similar throughout the whole thing, is uh, we have two uh, shapes here, and right here it's just line segments, but uh, one line segment is translated to form the image version of that line segment. And so it wants us to find the translation rule. Now. The translation rule, no matter if you go from x to x prime or w to w prime, it's going to be the exact same thing uh, for every point on the shape or line segment or just whatever you are translating. So you really only have to do it for one, um, although you could do it for both or multiple if you want to check your work or something like that. So all we're going to do is we're going to count um, how we get from our pre-image point to our image point. So how do we get from x to x prime? Uh, both in the x direction and the y direction. So down here is the formal way you write a rule. You go x comma y, which signifies your original point, uh, turns into x plus something or minus something if you're going negative, uh, and then y plus something or minus something. So how much is it moving in the x and how much is it moving in the y? So we'll start with the x. Um, how much is x moving? So to get from x to x prime, it looks like we start at negative 8 and we end up at positive 5. So how much do we translate to get from negative 5 to positive 5? What's the distance here? Well, that's just going to be 13, right? 8 plus 5 is 13. So it's going to be x plus 13. Because remember, we're going in the positive x direction. We're going this way. So it's going to be x plus 13. And then how do we get from, uh, let's see, negative 7 to positive 4 in the y direction? So what's the distance between negative 7 and positive 4? That's just going to be 11. And since we're going up, it's going to be y plus 11. OK, cool. Next problem. How do we get from this line segment to this line segment? OK, we'll just start with p. Uh, p in the x is at negative 7, and p prime is at negative 1. So how do we get from negative 7 to negative 1? Uh, we go 6 in the positive direction, so x plus 6, and then for y. Looks like for y, we start at negative 1, and we end up at positive 6. So how do we go from negative 1 to positive 6? Uh, that's just 7. 7 in the positive up direction, so that's going to be y plus 7. And there you go. Okay, there's not much to it uh, after that. Now we're doing shapes. Let me skip a level here. Okay, and now it's asking you to, to write more of the rule because there is a chance you are going to be um, going in the positive or negative direction for something, for some of these problems. Uh, so let me skip to the next one because these are both positive. Okay, this is a good one. So uh, translate the pre-image here, triangle STU, to our image, uh, S prime, T prime, U prime, okay? So we'll start with the x direction. So I'm going to type in x. And let's pick one point. doesn't matter which one. Um, I will do t. Why not? And so how do we change uh, in the x direction from t to t prime? Well, t x, y starts at 1, and t prime ends up at negative 8. So how do we go from positive 1 to negative 8? Well, there's a difference of 9 there, right? And since we're going in the negative direction, as in our numbers getting smaller and smaller, uh, we are going to go x minus 9, x minus 9, right? Because we're going in the negative direction. Now we'll do the y, and uh, I'll pick another letter. We did t last time. Uh, I'll do, uh, let's do u. Why not? Um, so how do we go from u to u prime? Well, u, we start at 4 for the y coordinate, and for u prime, we go down to negative 5. Okay, so what is the difference between 4 and negative 5? What's the distance there? To get from positive 4 to negative 5, that's going to be 9. And since we're going down, 
right? We're going to the negative direction. We're going to write y minus 9, okay? So that is the difference between the pluses and the minus. That's just indicating which direction you're going. So it should be x minus 9 comma y minus 9, submit, and that's going to be it, okay? Um, this is, seems like just a repeat of the first problem, and I think that's about it. Let me double check here. Yep, just a triangle, you go from here to here. Okay, sure enough. Uh, I'll finish the video here, stay safe, study hard, and I'll catch you later on the next IXL tutorial. Goodbye.